Or are you stuck at zero followers on Instagram? Well, as someone who has grown over 300,000 followers myself, I can show you the way to grow. Now, let's get started. Now, the first step in growing is to actually figure out what niche you're in. And before you click off this video, because that's generic advice, hear me out for a second. To figure out what niche you have, you have to identify what sort of interest you have as a person. Maybe you're interested in sports, golf, animals, financial statements, I don't know. Just figure out what interests you have. And after that, the niche you're going to build your pages is going to be quite obvious. You can also utilize your skills to identify your niche. If you're building a personal page, maybe you're good at video editing or art or even just doing tricks with a football. That is the perfect opportunity for you to start building a page around your skills. And the best part about building a page around a skill is that you can actually start teaching other people that skill when you get bigger. And that kind of moves us on to our next thing. How profitable is your niche? Some niches like the luxury niche, the wealth niche, the fashion niche, and the traveling niche are extremely profitable on Instagram. While other niches like memes aren't as profitable. You also have to identify how you're going to provide value to your target audience. And by value, I don't just mean educating your audience. There can be a lot of different ways you can provide value. If you're a meme page, for example, Example, you can provide that value through laughter and enjoyment. And the same thing is true if you're building a sports page or an animal page. Those are niches that mainly rely upon entertainment as the main value source. While on the other hand, spaces like the financial niche mainly rely upon education as the main value source. Whichever one of these value points you focus on doesn't matter. Just figure out what way you're going to provide value to your target audience. Now the second thing you should do is optimize your profile in the right way. It doesn't matter how many people come to your profile. If your profile is ugly and spammy looking, then no one is gonna follow you. The first step in optimizing your profile is to have a good logo. To do this, you can simply go onto sites like Fiverr or alternatively, if you wanna do it by yourself, make sure that you know the psychology of colors. Your logo is what people will use to reference to your page. If that is spammy and ugly looking, then no one is really gonna care about you. Now the second thing after you have done your logo the right way is to have a clear bio. Make use of as many of those 150 characters as possible. When someone comes to your page they have to know directly what your page is about and this is done partly by the logo and also your bio. The first line in your bio should tell the potential follower exactly what your page is about. One of my pages for example is in the parkour niche. The first line in my bio is something along the lines of giving you parkour content daily. That way people know exactly what they can expect when they come to my page. And therefore the conversion rate from profile visits to followers is quite huge. Under the first line you can also do some sort of reference to the niche you have. That way people can identify and relate to the page more. Finally you should also have a call to action. Once you become bigger you can reference a link in your bio that makes you money. But in the beginning you should have a call to action action that gets them to follow you. Now the last thing in optimizing your profile is to have the right name. The name should be clear, concise and compelling at the same time. The name should be as short as possible. One of my pages is in the astrology and spirituality niche. That name is just manifestations guide. It's as simple as that. I have a reference to the niche by the manifestation and also the second part is guide in the name. Try to avoid using any special characters, numbers or underscores in your name. That just makes your page look spammy and no one wants to follow a spammy page. Now finally how do you actually grow this page? Well the first step in growing is always to drive traffic to your page. If no one is visiting then you can't grow. To drive traffic to your page in the beginning especially if you're starting from zero you can start to engage with similar pages in your niche. Be one of the first comments on the big pages. Interact with people that follow the pages in your niche. Build trust in the niche and get people to recognize you. Utilize the dollar eighty strategy, I don't know. Just focus on building as much trust and recognition around your page as possible. And that's why I talked about optimization in the beginning. Now another common way to drive traffic to your page is by making use of the follow for follow method. Now before you click off, please hear me out for a second. The follow for follow method is a frowned upon strategy in the IG community. Some people hate it or some people love it. 
love it. I'm one of the people that love it. The follow for follow method might not bring you any crazy high valuable followers, but that's not really the point for follow for follow methods either. The point of the follow for follow method is simply just to get your page off the ground. Once you reach three to five thousand followers on your page, you might get three to five hundred likes on your posts. That's enough data for the Instagram algorithm to actually recognize your page and also start to push your content in the explore page and on hashtags. So really the initial followers that you gain from the follow for follow method is just a way for you to get your page on the explore page where you will actually be getting the real followers. Now the last strategy you can use when driving traffic is simply to do collaborations. This is a really underrated way to grow, trust me. To do collaborations you can simply just reach out to similar pages in your niche that also has around the same number of followers. Preferably they are also a bit larger than yourself. Simply just write something along the lines of, hey would you be interested in a collaboration? I think it could benefit us both. You will actually be surprised of how many people in the niche would respond with something like, why not? You see, the point of collaborations is not to drive enormous amounts of traffic to your page. It's simply to leverage the other page's existing audience so that you can use it for yourself as well. Say that you are sitting at a thousand followers yourself and you get a collaboration going with five other pages at one thousand followers. One collaboration post a week, that basically means that you're getting your content out there to five times your own audience. So don't look down upon collaborations. Now lastly, when you're done driving traffic to your page and growing in that initial phase, once you reach three to five thousand followers, it's time for the explore page to go viral to get followers and reach fame. Now the most important thing to note here in this phase is to get your content straight. Utilize the Instagram analytics to identify the content that serves you the best. Try to identify the content that gets you the most reach. To do this, go on to your page's analytics and sort the post by most reach. There you will have a list of the best performing posts in a specific time period. Try to figure out what all of these posts have in common. Maybe a post where a face is shown is performing better than one is not. Figure out as many details as possible and your growth after that will be quite huge. Just like the growth on this video if you click the like button. Also a hidden trick that many people don't use is to use locations and hashtags to target the right people. If you want to target primarily people in the United States, you can set your post location to the United States or some city in the United States. That will then get the Instagram algorithm to push your content in that region. Now lastly, consistency. It doesn't matter whether you have one, five, 10 or even a hundred thousand followers. If you don't post consistently and your followers don't know what to expect from you, then you shouldn't have that big of an expectation to grow either. Instagram loves the pages that feed the Instagram algorithm constantly. And the more consistent you are with your posting, the more likely the Instagram algorithm is to reward you. So if you lack a day or two, that is not acceptable. So post consistently and check out this video to grow on Instagram faster. With that all being said though, my name is Oliver and I'm out.